Okay, so Sam, when you're performing surgery, you want to make sure that he's stable and he won't move. Because one slight slip could kill him. Right now, he's under the anesthesia, and we are going to pull the last fragment out of his leg. Capiche? Capiche? Yeah. This patient is just in excruciating pain with the bullet, so it's not bad. <sighs> Got it. Excellent. Make sure that he is well rested and drinks a lot of water. Now patch that bad boy up, and I have to go talk to Reese. Okay, see you later, Danny. See you later. Anyone here? No. Computer record. Record all blood tests and read them to me. Blood levels, normal. Brain waves, dysfunctional. Signs of huge cannibalistic brain waves. Damn it, nothing new. Subject is hungry. Based on what I was able to find out, these walkers have some sort of regeneration thing that keeps them from dying until major head trauma to the head. Study this more thoroughly. Yes, Danny. When will you be back? Tomorrow. I've got work to do. Thanks for meeting with me, Reese. No problem, Danny. Now, what do you want to talk about? A supply issue. I'm running out of supplies. There's not going to be enough to get us through the winter. Danny, I've already dealt with the food situation. You shouldn't have to worry about it. I meant medical supplies. I don't have enough of them. If I don't get any, all of those men in the hospital will die. If I can't get this under control, they're going to push me out of office. This is not good. That's what I thought. You should send out a supply team. You're right. But who? I would suggest Sam. He knows what supplies we're going to need. So you can point them out. And, um... How about Luke and George? Both of them are... George is a good shot, and Luke is pretty good with that hand combat. They'd be great in any type of situation. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Plus, you need to stay here and... Focus on making sure that these patients get the correct treatment they need. That is my number one concern. Thank you. No problem. I'll send them out tomorrow. Thank you. Race. We need to talk. Chris, what are you doing? I thought you'd be helping with the food. That's exactly my problem, Race. People think they're not getting enough food. They feel like they're being mis- treated 
which is not how I want this town to feel. Look, neither do I. It's either we care about our feelings or we care about our survival. We gotta prepare for another attack, and in order to stay prepared, we have to make these precautions. But the soldiers, the soldiers, the damn soldiers are the only ones that get two meals a day. Hey, I survived on one meal for a week, for almost a year. This is nothing. The people that are fighting this war on the battlefield have to have more food so they have the strength to fight back. You're delusional. You think we're going to win this? The only reason you're in office is because I wanted to see you region kill you. But you won. So that whole thing was a setup? You... You didn't even want me to be in office? No, I thought he was gonna kill you and all your friends, and then you'd be out of my hair forever. And I could just keep living my life the way it want to be lived. Hey, half of your guys don't even know how to fight. It's not okay. My guys, they're yours now. I wish they were mine. Get out of here. Fine, but when people start running up to your door, and telling you they want food, they'll come crying for me to help. Hey Luke, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, what's up? I need you to go into on a supply run tomorrow with Sam and George. What are we looking for? Medical supplies. They're running out of medical supplies down at the hospital. Sam's coming because he knows what Danny's looking for. And George's coming because I'm his older brother and I'm telling him to. Plus he's a good shot. Okay. Why do you want us to leave? Just meet me at the front gate tomorrow at 6. Please. Yeah. That's an hour before everyone starts working. That's the point. I don't want anyone to know you're gone. What? People don't need to worry about this stuff. Not the citizens, just us. Okay? Keep this secret, okay? Yeah. Sure. Thanks. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <sighs> you spend most of your time here? Yeah. I never thanked you for saving Luke's life. That day. No problem. He owes me. Yeah. I knew most of these people. They were all good people. I'm gonna miss them. I barely knew any of them. But there's one thing I do know. They died for a good reason. Yep. They all did. Hey, George. Yeah? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what's up? Look. I know you don't like this whole war situation, George, but it's the only way, okay? You could talk it out with them. Do you know Region has been responsible for every single death that has happened in this family? Not mom and dad. Our new family, George. The people that I knew before this. The people before... before the people that I knew before I found you. M Martin. Vance. Harold. All these those people that died that day. They all died so we could start this. Please don't throw it away. 
How can I make it up? Don't blame yourself for Martin, okay? You can please go on a supply run tomorrow with Luke and Sam for medical supplies. Just please don't tell anyone about it and meet me at the gate at 6. Fine. You better bring my gun I like. Don't worry. I sure as hell will. Computer, has there been any new data? Nothing in the blood or the brain, but in all the other organs and in the skin, we detect dying cells, which means what? These people. They're walking, but they're dying at the same time. It's as if their bodies just stay there. And the brain is the only functioning organ. The brain is the only functioning organ. Oh my god. Which means... That's where the virus is. The virus is in the brain. Correct. What did you also find? Decaying cells. Which means... They're like the walking dead. People. Decaying bodies. That have... Only one functioning organ, which is the brain. That's why they don't have a heartbeat. That's why they don't have any blood flow. And that's why all the blood compacts into one area. That's why... That's... That's why the... That's why they only go down with a shot to the brain. That's why a person only goes down with a shot to the brain. We all have the virus. It just doesn't get activated. It doesn't get activated until our heart stop stops. We're bit. And that means their, their dying cells, when your bit goes straight to your blood system and it kills you. I just cracked the code. All I have to do is reverse it. Computer, how long do you think it will take to reverse the virus? Danny, I'm sorry. It's impossible. What do you mean impossible? The virus, it's too strong. Not too strong. How long do you think it will take to break the code and cure the virus? Since I already said impossible, it will probably take 20 to 30 years to perfect the cure. What about a temporary cure? That will take at least a year or so? That's good. That at least means we can keep people that are a bit alive as long as possible. Good job. We're closing in on the cure. <laughs>